Hey everyone, in this video we'll be learning about .NET MAUI icon fonts as well as the fonts uh, in C -Sharp implementation. So here you can see this is our C -Sharp, which is uh, uh, comprising of label. This is a label. This is also a label which consists of uh, app icon font and then uh, it contains another uh, control that is a uh, image button so here uh, for the image button too we are using the icon fonts so let's get started with this type of uh, .NET MAUI C sub font icon implementation so I'll just quickly giving you a brief about uh, .NET MAUI C sub implementation for the font uh, icons and I have previously discussed on this video too that is our uh, .NET MAUI font xaml implementation what should be done and so i'll just quickly give a reference so if you uh, want to uh, give a uh, fonts uh, font call like we if you want to change the font in the dot uh, net maui then you can just take any of the fonts download it so download font family and the same thing goes for the font icons too so you can download it from here so you can just download it uh, you know, uh, from the dot net web font so uh, the same thing i have a uh, uh, done in my this video too. So I have downloaded it. I have given uh, renamed it so you can see I have extracted the downloaded folder and Folder and then uh, which file need to be renamed. So I have just renamed the file and uh, Here you can see uh, I'm just renaming the file over here. So uh, now after renaming the file I will just uh, drag and drop it inside the resources folder of our project So here is the project here inside the font uh, we, we need to drag and drop all the uh, fonts as well as the font icon uh, to the project so the resulting output is going to look like this that is our um, my font icon this is for the icon and this is for the text so here you can see so both of the things uh, are already there and uh, make sure that uh, you have uh, this thing uh, already inside your .cs pros of your project and uh, uh, now next thing that we need to do is like uh, here I have uh, included another plugin name as community toolkit .maui .markup. so you need to uh, add it from here that is uh, community toolkit community toolkit markup so uh, you can just uh, download and install it to all the plugins. So this is Xamarin, that is uh, Maui. So just uh, try to include that Maui plugin. So after adding the Maui plugin, don't forget to add it inside it over here. That is our uh, this uh, plugin implementation. And along with that, you can uh, use another plugin name as Maui Community Toolkit too. So you just need to reference that from the Manage Nougat packages. So that is it and for the font registration this is what we need to do so as uh, in our previous video too we have just registered the font and uh, uh, just don't forget to uh, use this icon font class because uh, uh, for the font icons we need to use that uh, icon font class too so um, I have already told in the previous video that uh, how to implement this icon font class and now uh, we the main focus over here is going to be implementation of C -Sharp, uh, uh, UI so we need to add a new uh, file and then uh, create a .NET MAUI content page, a C -Sharp page. So just don't forget to do that selection of that and give a page name as my new C -Sharp page. So I have just used that. And here you can see now uh, this is our uh, basics .NET MAUI C -Sharp page. And here I am using a uh, uh, like a community plug community toolkit plugin dot markup. That's because we can use this type of uh, uh, implementation of uh, the properties for the, some some type of image button label or uh, any any of the controls that we really uh, want to be included. Then here, what uh, we are going to do is uh, uh, for the font family for our welcome to .NET Maui. That is our just a label, right? So for that label, we are just going to use this app text font and let me scroll it over here and app text font so here let's go to the uh, maui program.cs so you can see over here for the text we are using app text font and uh, for icon 
we are going to give a font family as f icon font because the, it is the uh, name, name initialization that we have done for the icons so that is it uh, let's go to the c sub page so here uh, i'm just putting that uh, font icon to center vertical text as also center vertical and uh, uh, that uh, the icon to be a tennis ball so we can just change to anything as we like so here you can see a nice little uh, thing is going to come pop up that means icon font class is going to get inherited so this is the font class that we have generated so uh, just to refer my previous video where uh, i am uh, converting my font uh, font files to icon font files to the c sub file using the icon to font uh, uh, font to code uh, that website so uh, that is it and uh, let's go to the page that is here and we can just change to anything as we like here i'm just going to uh, give something like uh, basket or anything as you like so if you go on the project and here you can see the uh, changes of label and for image button to uh, we are putting that image button to center uh, horizontal as well as center vertical and then giving the uh, icon uh, icon as a image source here you can see font icon uh, image source is the property that we need to add and here you can see we have already added the uh, uh, I, uh, image button so it is clickable too and here um, the color too we have provided the color and the size of the uh, image button that is it so this is how we're gonna implement this uh, uh, image button that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials